Hey guys, hope you are doing well. Uh, today I wanted to go over with you this DIY battery box that I made. And once I started watching YouTube videos, I uh, kind of became a rabbit hole of options. So I wanted to put this out there. This is what I did. Um, basically it's a $27 pure outdoor um, Pelican case knockoff, I guess, but it feels good. It feels pretty thick. Um, it doesn't seem flimsy at all. So definitely $27 well spent. It does have a pressure release valve here. And what I did was is I put, <clears throat> I actually mirrored both sides. So I took this three rocker panel switch. Here's the, uh, here's the on off button. So this is really built to run the CFX3 Dometic fridge that I just got. It's the CFX3 45. And this 35 amp hour lead acid battery within this pack um, basically ran this fridge for about 27 hours, but I did pre-chill the fridge, set it at 32 degrees, and it ran it for about 27 hours. So much longer than what I thought. Definitely happy with that. So here we have the 12 volt DC. We have the voltmeter with a quick charger, dual USB. And then on this side, I actually just put another USB in there because I had an extra one. And then, so kind of overkill, um, but we can charge the GoPros, charge multiple phones, charge lights. One of the cool, the options that I did put on this box was these Pro Comp rock lights because I had two extra, so they're 12 volts. So flip that on. Super bright. So when you're camping at night, <clears throat> you basically pull this box out, put this switch on, light up the campsite, put up your tent, you're good to go. And then you have power to run your fridge for at least a day. Um, so I had that, that laying around, so I thought that I'd put that on. I also put an SAE charger, so I can hook that up to a 5 amp hour battery charger. I know that on lead acid batteries, you don't really want to charge it more than 25% for amp hour, so uh, 5 amp hours is conservative, but I'm not going to run this battery down lower than like 11.4 volts, um, so we should get a lot of cycles out of it. So I'm gonna open it up. So it is a bit of a mess here, but basically what I did was the panel switches go to positive, negative. These panel switches go to positive and then negative. And then also the lights, this is where the, the lights plug in at. So I did put a little a bit better uh, fuse switches in here because they do come with those little round ones that have those tube fuses, which I didn't like. So I actually bought these and then I intertwined that with the system. So I think these are about a seven, no, this is a 10 amp in here, 10 amp in here. And then for the rock lights, I think it's a four amp. Um, so this is the battery. It's a max battery. It's a 35 amp hour lead acid. Um, one of the options that I'm gonna do later is put a lithium ion battery in here. Those are really expensive though. Um, but as, you know, if you're watching this video, you guys probably know that the lead acid, you know, you don't really want to discharge it more than 50%. So a 35 amp hour battery, um, you're looking at around 17 amp hours of usable energy. So that's probably why the Dometic fridge lasted around 27 hours at 0.7 amp hours of usage. So still a good box. I mean, all together without these lights, because th these were extra. Um, everything costs about 150 bucks. So not a bad deal when the goal is zero. Um, 400 is much more than that. And also this this bit was perfect. It's a one and three eighths. I think it's called like a step down bit. But basically, I use this entire bit all the way to the end, and it creates a perfect hole for the outlets to go into. And then you screw it on the back. If you guys have seen those before, you know what I'm talking about. But all in all, this is it. Um, so, I mean, for $150 and you get to learn some wiring, it's, it's a pretty cool little project to do. 
I'll put the links in the description below of the parts. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks guys.